Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now, I got a dream from Brother Anthony, and his dream seemed quite prophetic. I want you to hear this one. This is a last day's prophetic dream, and it looks like it is involving some dangerous stuff, including the mark of the beast, or the symbol of the mark of the beast. It's including some strange things, and I want you to hear it. All right. Well, it all started when I was with my aunt. We were in the car. My aunt was driving. I remember we were headed to a store. She wanted to get some things for the house, so I tagged along with her. It was a clear, wonderful day. We were traveling out of town. I believe we were going to Walmart. As we hit the highway going to I-95 South, I was looking out of the window and I saw these clouds coming towards us. If I remember correctly, these clouds look like straight lines or something. So while my aunt was driving, I took some pictures of it. <clears throat> After I finished, taking them, what I saw on my camera phone was a shape of an X and the other was of a square. Then I looked at the other photos and I saw a triangular shape. Then for some reason my dream switched over to this pastor. He had a YouTube channel and he was talking about the end times. He was trying to warn people about what was to come near us. I believe he was talking to the church online. He knew everything that was going to happen in this world. He was prophetic and he was prophesying that something was going to happen sooner than later. Then after that, I don't know if I had a vision or what, but I saw President Donald Trump. President Obama, Hillary Clinton, and the rest of Donald Trump's team. They were meeting in a room. They were discussing the, these countries, Syria, China, Russia, and North Korea. I don't know what they were saying, but it was seriously deep. Their actions were showing it on their faces. Then my dream was switched back to where I was before. I was with my aunt. And she was talking with some people from her job. I was looking around and I was confused. I looked up and I saw this huge store, but it wasn't Walmart like I thought before. It was a different store. We went inside, got a few things. I can't remember. She whatever. When we came out of the store, I looked up and I woke up out of my sleep. I was shocked and asked God, what was that? When he looked up, I went on Facebook and I saw the number 666 on this building that President Donald Trump's son son-in-law owned that was one dream and i'm gonna leave it at that you know he has some interesting dreams but i kind of feel him out to see which ones i feel like this is necessary i don't know what's transpiring he sent this to me over a week ago i was just really tired but pat's two cents now Brother Anthony, thank you so much for sharing that dream with us. I really believe some things are getting ready to happen and things can go either way. And I had another brother send me a warning saying, I really believe that everybody needs to load up on water and supplies and all of that because it looks like something's getting ready to happen. Later on, Anthony 
sent me another dream. I won't go into that right now, but the main thing that he seemed to be worried about is he heard that the RFID chip is coming to New York City. And he heard that Donald Trump was sending troops to North Korea. And he saw Hillary Clinton on TV. And he heard that former President Obama was traveling overseas. To him, that was a sign. So anyway, I ask you to really pray because he was worried and burdened by the feeling that we might or could be headed towards World War III. So really pray, you guys, because no matter what man's plans are, no matter uh, what their schemes are, God can thwart every one of them. But we as born-again Christians need to be praying. The Bible says we have not because we ask not. We need to ask for time, for mercy, for God to rectify what's getting ready to really be messed up so that our lives won't have to suffer for it. We need to pray. Lord, cancel the assignment of the enemy against us in the name of Jesus. Yeah, this, this is really... Uh, I'm telling you guys, this this is not to be uh, just kind of sh shoveled aside like, oh, here we go with some conspiracy theorist and everybody's kind of bored. They need to get a light. Listen, you guys, we need to pray. We got a life, the life that came through Jesus Christ. So we need to pray. Some of us need to fast and pray according as God leads us because if God ain't leading we're basically just on a diet we need to fast and pray and we need God to help us hit the bullseye you hear me now the reason I'm scrolling is because one of the brothers sent me an alert and I was planning on reading it if I can find it so bear with me for a minute here. It was one of his latest messages. So let me scroll to the top. Okay. And this lines up. He sent this two hours ago. This lines up with what Anthony sent me almost nine or ten days ago. Listen to this. This is from Paul. Pat. Red alert. Red alert. Red alert. This coming Wednesday. All 132 U.S. Senators will be summoned to the White House for a special briefing on North Korea. You hear me? I'm reading this now. Get ready, Pat, because we're getting ready to go to war. Lord, cancel that assignment. I know that may be what's happening, but God can cancel it if, if we intercede, he can intervene. Okay, listen. Try to get as much food, water, medicines, and I and let me add Pat's two cents. For those of you who have a scheduled thing on your medication, order them a little early if you can. Okay. Uh vitamins and sanitizers as possible because when the crap hits the fan, the economy will be shut down. Pray against the economy being shut down. We have a risen savior. The, the, this is Pat's two cents. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Psalms 24. So we can go to God to handle the nonsense that's happening on his planet. Okay. I prayed for you today and I will continue to keep you updated on the debt ceiling and other news. Love, Paul. Now, I ask you for your prayers on on what Paul has shared and what Brother Anthony has shared. Both of these brothers are doing their best to be watchmen on the walls. 
a lot of us need to be doing our best to be praying and interceding so that God can intervene. Okay, I'm not going to keep repeating myself, but I think you see the urgency of the matter, and I hope you don't take it lightly. Please. Whew. Okay, I'm getting off. Good night.